Ho ho! What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a good day. So today we'll be round two with the NFAB brand new Predator Pro Steps. If you caught my video a couple days ago, I had some trouble putting them on because they didn't line up correctly on the passenger side. So today I plan to persuade them into place. I have a couple ideas, one being as far as using heat to get it to line up, but I think, um, I really don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna get them on today. That, that's my guarantee. So if you didn't see that video a couple days ago, I'll put the link above me right now, somewhere above me. So check that video out first. Usually a very simple install. I will also be adding parts from that video into this because I kind of was going through a little bit of a step-by-step -step situation that I don't really plan on doing again today. So it's a very simple install normally. Um, the drill holes are already in the truck, so you don't have to do any drilling. It's uh, simply taking out the factory bolts that are in there, if there are any in there. If you have steps on there already from Toyota, they're very easy to just take out and replace these new steps with. Uh, this is the first time I ever had an issue with any step lining up. I've had a bunch of NFABs, always have been great, no problem. It just seems to be off by a very little bit. Let me show you the picture real quick of how much we are off. So as you can see, not that much. So I feel like I could get this thing into place and we will be good to go. So after my epic fail the other day with these steps, I put my old ones back on. So I'm gonna have to go outside, take those back off. Um, no issues on them whatsoever. Uh, so once again, I will go over all of this for you. The great part about these new Predator Pro steps is they're 100% aluminum, which means they won't corrode. So if you live in an area where you get a lot of snow, a lot of road salt, these steps are perfect for that situation. One of the big complaints I get uh, from sidestep owners is the steel ones and all that will rust very badly, very quickly because of all the snow and salt. So this is a good um, replacement for that, something a little bit lighter. It's actually a lot lighter. Um, it's just a good look. Everything about them I really like, so I really wanna get them on there. Like I said, very simple install usually so we shouldn't have a problem this time i'm going to get these things on i i've had a track record lately of a few epic fails in installations i want to end that today and start the streak back to greatness so let's get out there and give it a try i'll keep you guys updated along the way now one fantastic thing about nfab steps you get one two three connections right there it's all one piece okay so the piece that is actually held to the truck and the bar are one solid piece. A lot of side steps out there, you put this part on first and then this step. Sometimes the step can actually come loose from this part here that secures to the truck and you'll get some crazy rattling. You don't get that with the NFAB step. So these are the old ones that are on here now. Still in fantastic, great shape. I absolutely love them. Textured black, we got that again. But once again, for the Northeast, I feel like these all aluminum ones will um, last a lot longer. So let's start taking these things off. So we're now under the truck and this is what we're gonna be taking off right here. These are the connections. Like I said, there's already holes in the Tundra so you don't have to do any drilling or anything. These are the two holes that we use that were already there. We screw the step up into there. Same thing on this one and the one down there behind me. Very simple install. The one up front here is on a little bit of a different angle if you could see that. So it'll hold the step upright but this should be a nice easy takeoff. I hope I didn't just jinx myself but uh, let's see what we got. Okay, I've loosened all the bolts, uh, so now we're gonna go back and uh, try to get this thing off with one person. I always suggest to do things with two people for basically the ease of it all. What I'm gonna have to do is uh, lower the step down onto me and then push it over uh, without hurting the step. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I've done it before, but yeah, with that second person, it's a lot easier. So if you have a buddy, might have to buy him a six pack or something, but call him over for help. And one more thing too, uh, these bolts came out, no problem, they were a little rusty. Uh, you may need a little WD-40 or something to get them to move, but uh, these were only on about a year, so not so bad. But it's amazing how much rust you get just in one year in the Northeast with all the salt we have on the road and everything. So uh, yeah, you may need some kind of lubricant to get the bolts to budge, but it's not that hard once you get it going. All right, here's what it looks like without any step. 
So it wasn't hard to take off. Like I said, it's a very simple install and take off really. All one piece, baby, all one piece. Still in really good shape. It's gone through a northeast wind, uh, winter and there's no rust it looks like, so that's a good thing. So now we'll move on to the next side. We'll get that off real quick and then uh, we'll put the new ones on. Kind of a clean look. So for all you power step guys out there, like the, the ones that fold down, you're gonna like this look a lot. I took some pictures so we could do a before and after. But yeah, that's what it looks like with no step. Um, I'm definitely more of a fan of the step look for sure. So let's go get these podium steps and put them on. Look at the size of that bee or hornet. Can you see that? I don't want them to come near me, but that's big. Don't try to be making a nest in there, dude. So here you go, old versus new. The new ones look so stealthy, like I'm getting into an F-22 Raptor. Not a Ford Raptor, a fighter jet. So let's put these things on. So if you ever do this on your own, it comes with instructions, just so you know, but this is what how you know what goes on the passenger side and driver side. The front is always this different looking bracket. The other two are flat. This one has a little curve to it. So that's how you know this is the front. So this will be the passenger side. All right, so as you can see in the pictures, we were able to get them on. Just took a little persuasion. So I did something today. I kind of used the weather to my advantage. It's like 90 degrees here in New Jersey. So I put the new steps outside on the back deck under the sun for like three hours, hopefully to soften them up a little bit. And then when we went under the truck to put them on, um, I had my helper push over the part for the connection. Like I said, we were missing by just a little bit. So he was able to actually push the metal over a little so I could get the bolt in no problem. So after that, they went on no issues whatsoever. Um, I've learned a lot from this time. Never say you won't have a problem. It is a total jinx, as any person who works on cars will tell you. Now, I've always believed in that, but when it came to side steps, I always felt this will be no issue. This will be quick because it always was until this time. So total, I think it was 45 minutes it took to get them both on. Uh, nice, easy installation. They look good, as you can see in the pictures. Um, they really, again, bring the look of the Platinum Pro together for sure. I'm a big fan of them. Uh, you can go find them on nfab.com, n-fab.com. Um, they have applications for a bunch of different trucks. I will keep you updated along the way on my thoughts on them. Like I said, the number one thing for me, actually there's two things. They're very light. They're way lighter compared to the uh, step, or what are they, the wheel-to-wheel -wheel NFABs that I had. Way lighter. And they're made of aluminum, so they're not going to corrode and rust and get all weird on me. They're the textured black look, which I really enjoy uh, that look on the build that I'm trying to accomplish here. So. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please go below the video. These are brand new Predator Pro steps from NFAB. Go check them out. And once again, thank you for watching. Little issue, but no big deal. We settled it. All it took was a little heat. So have a good one, guys. Twitter and Instagram, it's 100Dude34.